True Story, Swear the God is based on the real life experiences of the author Tom Bellin. The subtitle in front of this archival edition says it best, the true story of a real life romance. Unlike most romantic stories, especially in comics, the principal players in this are middle age. The book tells the story of Tom and Lily, how they met at a bus stop at Disney World and spent an incredible night together and then started a long-distance relationship that turned into something more. Don't worry, this isn't a, a spoiler. This is more like a starting point. This is just some stuff that you need to know in order to get involved into the story. You're going to experience their ups and downs. Some are cultural. He's from Napa, California. She's from Puerto Rico. Long-distance, lifestyle. She's a vegan. Jobs. She's a radio host. Well, she works in charity. He's a comic book fanboy. Unlike with a contract with God, True Story Swear to God doesn't have any unlikable characters. There aren't any catastrophic events, well, not too catastrophic, to put more zing into the story. Heck, just living life and being in a relationship is going to give you enough excitement for a lifetime. That doesn't mean that there's one note characters. They're just not any characters in the story that you just despise. Here's an example. Even though this is told through Tom's point of view, so you, you probably think it might be a little bit biased, Lily isn't some sort of pixie dream girl. She shows her emotions. She has issues of her own, such as with her mother, as most people would. I didn't start collecting this series until it was being reprinted by Image Comics. So I was reading it when Lily and Tom were already deep into their relationship. Something I also didn't notice until I bought the archive edition was the evolution of Tom's artwork and their relationship. At the start, the art wasn't bad, but it was a bit unfocused, unfinished. It seemed like a work in progress, much like the characters themselves, I suppose. It's tough to describe the plot of a series, or really any series that's based on a relationship or has a relationship at the center of it. Since it's not about the plot or an adventure, it's more about the journey than the goal. Since I can't come up with any negatives about the series, what I'm going to do instead is talk about some of my favorite moments in it. The first one is when she flies to Napa to visit Tom at his house. We know what's going to happen. They know what's going to happen. They want it to happen, but they also have baggage and insecurities to work through. And this is the first time that they will actually be intimate with each other. During a time like that, a whole bunch of thoughts are going to go through your head. Are we going too fast? How will I perform? Will they like what I see? It re really reminds me of one of the only good moments in Twilight. When Bella and Edward are on holiday, she's anxious because this will be her first time. And that was the only time I really connected with her character in the movie. My next favorite moment is when Tom sends Lily five years worth of an autobiographical strip tour, and she reads it all in one night. Also during this time when they're apart, they also send each other their favorite books. She sends Tom the Alchemist, and he sends her The Dark Knight Returns, and she came up with the same conclusion uh, as most people do. By doing this, they learned more about each other, and they became closer. I just wonder why more people who are in long-distance relationships don't do this more often. Another moment, more serious, but uh, just as heartfelt one is when Tom has a confrontation with a young bandana wearing man in Puerto Rico. The fallout from this event is important to the story and also very important to Tom and Lily's relationship. Another favorite moment of mine is when Lily, after Lily inspires Tom to put out his own comic, and he does, and he goes to his first comic convention as a creator and he meets his idols for the first time not just as a fan but as a fellow creator as equals. I've done I've been to a few cons in my lifetime and hopefully one day 
I'll be able to come as a creator and not just a fan. For me personally, I would say my favorite or the funniest moment in here is in Puerto Rico when Tim and Lily are dining out and he tries to order in Spanish. It's a priceless scene and all I can say is just take a look at the panels. Yes, I really do think this is a great series and it is very recommendable. It's no longer running, but there should be some trades out there and possibly some floppies. I re recommend this series really to any adult. Kids might not find the lives and romantic relationships interesting of adults. This is a great book to give someone who doesn't read comics, actually. It'll show even more proof that there's more to comics than just superheroes. And until next time, goodbye.